on the comedy end, one, one of the names that a friend of ours threw out jokingly is something that actually we seriously workshopped for a few days. Um, For like a couple weeks, I thought about this. Yeah, and went back and forth and... Because she said, like, what are your favorite scripture verses? That aren't overt, that a person not of faith uh, wouldn't be scared off by right. the Jesus show with Jackie and Bobby. It's, it's something Jesus that would yeah. hook someone maybe who wouldn't, like re religion may be a turnoff. They would start listening for the content or for the interviews, the interesting conversations we get into, yeah. not realizing, oh wait, this is actually Catholic or this is, this is Christian and you're slipping in the truth and, and goodness and beauty. And, and so what's a name that's, what would be a show name that's, that's biblical, but isn't overtly biblical. But the problem is one of your favorite scripture verses is second Kings two twenty two, which talks about poor Elisha going up to Bethel. And the 42 children were shouting at him, go up bald head. Some translators said, go up baldy. <laughs> and it's like, can Elisha prophet of the Lord? He cursed the children in the name of the Lord and two she bears came out of the forest and tore the 42 children to pieces. <laughs> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's like, that's it. I'm like, don't ask him what his favorite scripture verse is. Cause you would do that to your own. Um, well, when I would, when I would teach, yeah, when I would students. teach and, and I'd inevitably have a student who said, the Bible's boring. And I said, okay, so. Let's uh, turn to sta stand up and you're going to read to the class second Kings two twenty three, and they're joking. And then it quickly turns to horror and they're like the Bible is horrible. So you're like, okay, well. so we almost named it uh, she bears, no. but no, the no, other, our other favorite one, which by the way, when Bobby and I were dating, you drew me this picture. You drew me like, what do you for Sorry. Reference to Titanic, slow, 1997. Slow, dramatics of my coffee. <laughs> Drive me like one of your French girls. No, uh, okay. Shunt, unshunt. <laughs> so he drew me a picture. <laughs> There's a, there was a pickup line that was like, girl, your hair is like a flock of goats running down the mountains of Gilead, because that's from Song of Songs, that's biblical. Um, and so he drew like a picture of me with like my hair. And Bobby's a really good artist. He actually was a good drawer. 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 -er. Drawer. -er. <laughs> the rural juror um, and you, you drew me a picture of like me with my hair and at the end of my hair, they became goats. So go ahead and read the scripture verse, love. From Song of Songs, Song of Solomon, chapter four. Mm -hmm. Your eyes are doves behind your veil. Your hair is like a flock of goats moving down the slopes of Gilead. Your teeth are like a flock of shorn ewes that have come up from the washing. Now, and it goes on, it goes on. And you know, like in the back in the on day, and on and on and on it goes. You know, back in the day, this was, this you, was you, young, young men were not allowed to read from the Song of Songs um, until they were a certain age. Mature, a mature age, because it talks about, your, just keep reading. Well, I'm not going to. Because this um, will be an explicit episode. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting bothered. But so, yeah, the running kind of inside joke has been flock of goats. And then a friend of ours suggested, not realizing we have this long comedic history within our relationship, said, what if you named it flock of goats? Flock of goats. F-O-G. Fog. Flock of goats. Fog. And, and uh, laughter, laughter turned to serious, like, hmm. We really. We why? Really which really lasted for several days of like workshopping this and being at the pool with friends and, and going around and like the merits of it and... But the problem was even our really good Catholic friends who aren't T.O.B. Like we know probably about Flock of Goats because of Theology of the Body and we know Song of Songs and we know we know that well and we know the Flock of... We know the funny pickup line. So we knew Flock of Goats, but we told our friends were like, hmm. <laughs> also... W.T. The, the, the thought of if we invite guests on to the the show yes, this and they have they have serious stories and they have really amazing insights and yeah do you want to be on the flock of goats <laughs> which yes the two of us are, are silly enough we're goofy enough like flock of goats is great but yes when we want to invite like actually therapists and doctors who the people that we're going to have on are very funny too and they're they very, don't take themselves too seriously yeah they're very down to earth but, but still still some of the topics we might go into like recovering how to heal from abuse and stuff like that we're like welcome to vlog a goat show you know it's just 
it, at that point, it was like, maybe not the best. Uh, now, the merchandise options, though. Oh, the goats. Are endless. The goats that could have been... Because goats can be very cute. They can be very scary, but very cute, too. Like, little baby, little baby goats. In fact, by the way, we live by a, a farm, like a couple farms. This housing area used to just be forest, like, 20 years ago. And we... <laughs> We passed by a farm who has not sold to the HOA. Good job, farm. But they have little little goats and like a, probably an alpaca. I always want to say llama, but it's probably an alpaca. And when their baby goats, in the spring, all baby goats were, were born. And poor Bobby, every time we pass by those baby goats, I get so excited. I did that when we went to Scotland, when we I was pregnant with Abby. Oh, my husband, I'm very glad you endure. You endure this this craziness. A very long, beautiful train ride from Glasgow, Scotland to Glasgow. Uh, Loch the Loch Ness. Essentially, we went to go see Nessie. The monster. There. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and every little field, it was springtime too, and all the baby sheep. Oh my gosh, I've died and gone to heaven that there are all these little baby sheep, and the way they jump. <laughs> jump around the entire train ride like oh, i squealed like baby, look at this. and this extrovert i get very i'm like a little kid and i get very excited about baby sheep and the poor bobby the the melancholic like the first time great they're cute and then my eeyore of a husband two hours in <laughs> two hours it's like another sheep it's another sheep that's frolicking about you you love me very much so after much prayer and discernment not we flock of sheep we or goats. decided to table a flock of goats. Yeah. Maybe down the road. Yeah. Unless someone trademarks it first. Oh boy, get on that. Get the stickers and the mugs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we conversation.